Some of Buffalo's biggest suburbs are dealing with staffing shortages when it comes to snowplow operators, which can only compound the problem facing so many municipalities this weekend. It's a perfect storm because of things like the holidays, COVID-19, and just not enough drivers. 7 News anchor Febin Casahoon continues our team coverage tonight. The town is taking this very seriously. As Western New York's holiday blizzard inches closer, Hamburg, West Seneca, and Amherst town leaders are working to secure the roads. The challenging factor for Hamburg, though, is getting staff to come in during their off hours. That's why the town supervisor, Randy Hoke, has created an incentive to pay double for those working the storm on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Drivers who are required to have a CDL to operate machinery would get an extra $3 an hour. This could be a very lucrative opportunity for many of of our our town employees the town is very concerned and this is a matter of public safety we believe this is a worthwhile investment additionally the town of hamburg is opening its senior and community center throughout the weekend as a warming and shelter station over in west seneca drivers are all in and ready to take whatever the winter weather will throw at them everyone's a professional so that they understand that, that this is really why uh, they're around and and that the the town depends on them town supervisor gary dixon says machines are gassed up and ready to salt the roads if it's snowing three inches an hour then it's hard to keep the roads clear. You gotta wait till that passes. But if it's snowing you know, an inch an hour, um, and if it's not blowing too hard, I mean, all these things come into come into, uh, into account. Amherst crews are hitting the roads Friday. If there's a lot of rain, it's gonna wash the salt off and it's not gonna do any good anyway. So it's gonna be a timing thing that we're gonna have to watch very closely to see where the temperature is going. Hoping to provide some relief to the road, some employees have canceled their vacations. I do have a small rash of COVID cases I'm dealing with. We're not at 100%, uh, but we're in pretty good shape, uh, you know, going into the storm. Fevin Casahoon, 7 News, Buffalo.